So, just starting out on my little summer vacation trip. Um, I am back in the Rondona National Park. And basically what I'm doing is a little reconnaissance, a little bit of survey for an upcoming race I have. August 13th will be the uh, 100K, Rondona 100K part of the Solomon Cup, which I ran the first of the two races uh, on January 16th. That was uh, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I did finish. I wasn't last, and uh, but I wasn't first either, that's for sure. But it was a hell of a good time. So I'm coming up here uh, and checking out some of the trail where I'll be running uh, in just a couple weeks. Um, yeah, so here's part of the trail. Pretty rocky. Expect that up in the mountains. So for this trip, I decided to uh, park at the halfway point and uh, I'll spend a couple days going up on this end, going towards the western northern side of the race. And then afterwards, I'll return back to the car, get resupplied, and head back for a couple days in the other direction to see how the track is going to be over there. So pretty exciting, yeah. So I thought maybe I'd go ahead and share this experience with you guys. And you know, for those of you that are still hanging around, wondering what I'm up to and checking out the uh, toaster, then by all means, come along for the ride. Uh, we've got a couple hours trek today. So yeah, we'll make our way up around over there eventually all right that's all for now let's get started all right so we are about hmm, two hours into this thing and starting to see some nice views of the mountains I haven't decided how far i'm gonna hike this afternoon it's approaching five o'clock Sunset nowadays is about 10, so it's definitely getting darker sooner. But, uh, oh, this trail looks great. It's gonna be nice to run the other direction. So far, it's been about almost 200 meters up. Now it's sort of starting to level out a little bit. Okay, maybe not level out, but soon we eventually have to start going down into the valley to get to the first cabin area. Uh, yeah, I'll check back in a bit. I just put you down and all of a sudden I break out of the trees, just a bit over tree line, or still at the edge. So there we go. <laughs> Overall, it's a pretty good trip so far, uh, even though it's been up and up. I mean, looking forward to this place running down here. It's all going to be down, down, down. Of course, this is like uh, uh, 42, 
right here is about 42 kilometers into the race so about a marathon's worth into it so the legs will definitely be feeling it huh, looking pretty good all right it's gotten a little bit colder now that we're in the shade of this big old mountain there and we are making our way this way towards uh do let's hit it so I know that there's no way I'm gonna make it all the way there tonight so I'm gonna find a spot pitch up the tent get the bed made as as they say and uh, have some dinner but it's gonna be a while still but I'll just go ahead and continue this way so we find a nice spot. Let me give you a twizzle. Get to the sun again. It's behind me, I'm gonna blind you here. Whoa. Got the sun right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah. Um, Making our way, making our way for sure. Let me kind of give you a twizzle, I'll show you what's what. So, farmhouse down there, that right there. We started down there today. I started down there today uh, from Sturmbu and uh, came up through those mountains there, passed by that little lake over there, and then down over that way is where the cabin is. And uh, yeah, I've been making my way over on these trails. I'll be uh, coming up through this pass over here eventually and uh, see what that's like. But, so, so far so good. Alright, so it's about 10 to 7 at night. Sun's still up, but it would be nice to find a place to pitch a tent, get set up, cook up some uh, boiling water, and uh, call it a call it a day. We'll see. We'll do that soon. Soon enough. So, I think I have found the spot. I'm tucked in. There's the mountain there behind me. And then there's the valley up there where we were going, where we're gonna go tomorrow. A little bit of wind, but nothing uh, too drastic. Looks like it's been a previous camping spot for some people. But uh, it looks Pretty goddamn gorgeous. Not a bad view. Not a bad view. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, set the camera down, and I think we're gonna set up the tent like right here somewhere. There she is, boys. All set up, ready to go. It's my tent. Got one of those uh, trek and pole tents uh, for this trip. Make it nice and simple. Still got the sun, just. Uh, yeah. All set up. So that should be my. That's east, so I should get the uh, sunrise in the morning. And. Uh, you can open up the uh, doors on both sides 
but uh, basically I'll just use the one on this side and uh, yeah get everything set up inside so inside I got my uh, I got the X Derm Extreme and uh, the Rab 900 for tonight. It's gonna get chilly, probably down to uh, near zero. Got the bag in there, plenty of room in the bag um, down at the bottom. Yeah, that's kind of what the setup looks like. We all cut it up in there tonight. Nothing uh, extraordinary. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing huge. <laughs> it's getting chilly. I'm gonna uh, head up there. There's a creek up there. I'm gonna grab some water, come down here, and uh, boil up some water, and uh, have myself a ready-made meal, dehydrated. Picking up some water, getting it to the boil. It's a nice dinner gonna be uh, rock, mushrooms, and uh, creamy uh, risotto. Yeah, and uh, oh, 506 calories, be fine. Just uh, hanging out by the tent. Got myself surrounded over here by some uh, trees. Just sort of breaking the wind a little bit. Uh, it's kind of cool because it's kind of set up like a little seating area from before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just hanging out. Stool here, and, uh, chilling, enjoying the view. Now it's just to wait 15 minutes. Just gonna enjoy the view. Hmm.
take you up over here. I don't know how dark it is there. Give me the sun and the light. You can hear the river down there. So that's uh, Ronda Slotet. That's the uh, Ronda Castle. That's where we went up the big mountain last year. So we're gonna go up that valley and then head north, actually. That'll be tomorrow. See if we can get this on the map here. Uh, I am uh, stowed away in my sleeping bag. Sleeping in the uh, Rab Ascent 900. Feeling pretty cozy. Outside it's about uh, seven degrees and getting colder. Inside the tent, even though it's open and everything. I do have the vents up there closed just for now. I'll probably open them up later, get some air in here, reduce the condensation, but uh, well, it looks like about 11 degrees in here. Um, if you can see that. Yeah, it's about 11. So that's all right. Um, yeah, let's go with today's track. Started up here in Strambu. And Strambu. It was a Strambu where I first started, and we did that track. Here it was pretty flat, and then it started to go uphill, and came down south here, down to Birnholia, and this is quite a nice little camping area. Show that to you on the map. It was all surrounded by a, like a stone wall. Pretty cool, had a big river gorging right next to it. And then after that, said we would try and go to uh, Dulceter, which is like, I uh, don't know for sure. I think it's uh, 15 to 20 kilometers northwest. But so we took off from Yonholia. We followed, came off the road followed this track along the mountainside, the red line, and then we came up here where we're meeting up with the river. I haven't quite got to that crossing yet, so I'm actually thinking that we are somewhere around, uh, somewhere around here. It could be these little bumps here. There was a, a river coming down, but it wasn't a major river, but this still could be it. Uh, it's just a stream, and of course, you know, with climate change, the streams are not quite so big anymore. So I really do think that I'm here on one of these uh, pullouts. Just, uh, yeah, it's um, 9.40 right now, so actually gonna try and get a good night's sleep uh it's really quiet and calm here it's, it's unbelievable it's just so nice um yeah so that's it for today guys take care thanks for joining me bye for now good morning it's about 5 five thirty, and uh it's an interesting night. I definitely woke up a few times. But uh, it was a surprise. It was pleasantly surprised. I was never cold. Um, the uh, Rab 900 has kept me nice and uh, warm all evening. But uh, looking through the tent wall, we can see that the sun has risen. So let's go ahead and just take a look. Mm. 
So, breakfast this morning is uh, Quaker Oats, apple and blueberry. Don't know if you ever did this when you were camping, but uh, just tear off the top and add water to the line. And uh, some coffee here. It's uh, instant, but still works. Instant Starbucks. Tastes like a house blend. Pretty good. Mm. That'll do it. So that's that and uh, just gonna finish enjoying my breakfast and uh, think about packing up and moving on I mean, come on, come on. You know you want to see this, right? Check out that bridge. Gotta love it. All the little campers spread out. Might be a refreshing place to take a dip during the race. We'll see. Behind me, up there is uh, Ronda Slotet. So last year I came down the valley on that track, crossed over near where there's a tent down there. And there's people crossing the river right now. And then basically you make your way up there, up to the right, and then straight to the top. Once you get to the top, then there's this crossing that comes down over to the other peak which is uh, pretty treacherous and it's kind of safe. I mean, it's a couple of few meters wide, but if you fall on one side, you're definitely gonna bite it. But uh, yeah, today, so continuing on up here, but uh, found a few friends first. So hopefully they're friendly. will let me pass and uh, we'll see. Hi there. Hi. No, 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 no. You stop. I'm going down. Alright. Looks like they'll be in front of me for a while. Nice little river crossing here. Got some more up there. Cool. Awesome. Too bad. Nice. Okay. Up, up.
Okay, leaving uh, the old center and making our way towards the there's a Grimm's Buhita, something like that. And uh, yeah, just coming up the, the hill behind Duro Setter. And uh, got all these nice rocks. Turn around, see behind us. Up over there is uh, Ran, Ran Slotet. And there's a mountain between us and I actually came around that mountain earlier today and then uh, went down to Dorosete which is down in the valley and uh, now making my way up here quite the trail I can see why this uh, trip is going to be 24 hours possibly not today but the uh, 100 kilometer race all right, I'm gonna put you away and focus on the rocks. So I am getting set up for night two. Not fully set up yet, but uh, thought I'd give you a swivel. Um, came quite a ways today, but did not reach the the uh, first checkpoint, which was the goal. But that's okay. Uh, today's trek, as you've seen, was pretty darn hard, so I'm not going to uh, not going to make any excuses. Up there, let's see if you're seeing, that's where I came down today. That's basically that rocky valley that just sort of keeps on going and going. I can't imagine what it's going to be like on race day. That's going to that's going to hurt from Bjornhalia till. That's some pretty rocky terrain too, so I'm pretty sure my feet are going to be chewed up. Got to look into what going to be the right pair of shoes, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let me go ahead and give you a swivel, and I'm in a valley right now, as a matter of fact. Got a nice cool breeze coming in from over there, and uh, that will be the sunrise. Place. Up that valley or up that mountain goes to uh, Grumhita. And I got the sun up there. It's gonna have a sunset. Right now it's uh, 1841, so about 20 to 7 at night. So I still have a uh, few hours to go before uh, sunset. Some nice mountains around. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just getting the camp set up. And I'm going to go ahead and cook some dinner. Because it's been a long day and I'm hungry. Hungry. Alright, that's enough for now. See ya. did not record so much on this location uh, but here we are the next day leave no trace all packed up ready to go um, beautiful mountains awesome little valley here little bridge over there to head up that way 
I'm not gonna go up there today. I decided I'm gonna head back towards the car and head up in the other direction. So uh, we came down from up there. So basically we're gonna head back up there through the, uh, the very rocky stony path. We're gonna try and get our way back, all the way back to uh, Stirumbu today where the car is and actually see if we can go a little bit further up that mountain and find a place to camp up there. But uh, yeah, um, time to start heading up the pass. Talk to you later. Okay, just spent the last uh, about 20 minutes coming through this, uh, I don't know if you call it a valley, it's, it's uh, pretty tight going, but it's all big rocks like this, pretty much everywhere beautiful view off in the distance but uh hard going a little difficult going up uh and through just towards the top but once you get to the top it's all like this like i said it's about 20 minutes coming through here it's about four or five of these ups and downs and uh yeah now i am Headed straight out, straight down. Then we'll be going off around that big mountain, the one that's closest to us, and going back in the valley, same way that we came up the other day, heading back to the car. Yeah. So, let's see. Let me see how it is. A lot of huge slabs. Some smaller stones here, some sections. Uh, there are some sections where it's just all of these big rocks and you're basically hopping from one to the next fun dangerous but fun nonetheless 